Today there are so many new, very low cost technologies that we can use uh, for capturing data in the vineyard, for example. So you have uh, platforms like Raspberry Pi and Arduino, which are uh, Internet of Things components, very low cost sensors uh, for capturing environmental data, uh, temperature in the tanks and the pH levels, and when we irrigate the vineyard, how deep the water's going. We're collecting data from sensors throughout the vineyard, underground, uh, environmental sensors, sensors in the winery, even in the cold storage where we keep the bottles. We're collecting the daily tasks that people do when they're working in the vineyard, when they're working in the winery, and all the human effort that goes into making wine. This technology gives us the advantage of precision farming, right? To know exactly when we should be irrigating or what's the ideal time to harvest and compare for one year to the next, right? Really establish a baseline. It also gives the observers or consumers a way to think, hmm, this is going to be a really good wine because I like the one before and look, it's had the same weather patterns or the same work patterns that they've done before. All this data is published, so anyone can see it. Uh, we actually share the making of the process, so how we're installing the sensors and documenting it. This, all this information is available. And the blockchain itself is really a way of validating this. So by taking a key from all of this data and placing in the blockchain, you know that we haven't updated or changed it over time. Our objective really is to create almost a mechanistic process so that as we go forward, we're optimizing winemaking and the grape growing, but we're collecting actual feedback from customers and we know that the process is honest, the price that we're selling it is market-driven, and we're sharing information with the world.